Good morning. <laughs> How are you? I hope you had a good weekend. It's a nice Monday morning. Now, if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe first off. And uh, sorry, whatever day it is. I usually post it the same day. So if you watch it the same day, it's Monday for you too. If you don't, I can't help you there. So anyway, I hope you had a good weekend. I hope you uh, uh, have good plans for this weekend. I do pray that your week is blessed. That's what I hope. I just hope everybody has a, just a outstanding, productive, profitable, healthy week, right? So this morning, when I got up this morning, I got around uh, slowly, and uh, I just kept thinking about this one scripture in Psalm 90. Now in the King James, Psalm 90, verse 1, in the King James it says, um, God has been our, our uh, you have been our refuge, I forgot how it says it, in all generations. Uh, he has been our hiding place, I think, or he's been our refuge in all generations. But in the New Living Translation, the old New Living Translation, it says, Lord, through all the generations, you have been our home. And that's why I titled this, Are You Home Yet? I don't see the title on here, but I know it's here somewhere. Uh, but I would title it, are, are We Home Yet? Because God is so welcoming. You know, our home is where we live. It's where we are, who we really are. <laughs> you know, uh, David said, I walk within my home with the integrity of my heart. And that's the one place you can let your hair down. But he still said, I still have integrity in my home. This is who I really am. When I get home, I can relax. You know, he was a king. Maybe he came and drank a glass of wine and relaxed. And in, in, his, in his private quarters, in his home, he could relax. But he still had the integrity of his heart, right? And so, you know, for God to be our home, it means we can rest there. You know, we can we can crawl up in His lap and just go. I need. I kind of need you to just hold me today. <laughs> you know, sometimes we need that, right? Sometimes we don't, but sometimes we need that. Sometimes we need to just to just rest, and that's going to be one of my goals today. I don't know if I'll get it done, but just the thought that He has been our hiding place. I think is how King James says it through all generations and Moses wrote this so Moses was early on like right Exodus so but we already had Abraham Isaac Jacob uh, Abraham yeah we had Abraham so we had all these people down through Genesis he says Lord through all the generations you have been our home now this was Moses and since Moses there's been a whole lot more generations but we can still say this confidently today Lord, through all the generations, you have continued to be our home. And he will continue to be our home. Now, the thing about that is that we have to go home, right? You know, there's one cool thing. You know, last week we came home from Texas, and it was, so, it was such a good trip. It was a really good trip. We looked at the facility. We stopped at the raceway. It was a really good trip. But there was nothing like coming home and getting back in my own bed, right? So when we say God is our home, that's the place we're most comfortable. You have to think about that a little bit. If God is our home, our home is the place we are most comfortable. I am most comfortable when I'm in his presence. I'm most comfortable when I'm obeying the things he said. I'm most comfortable when I'm reading his word. I'm most com and comfortable and peaceful. So when we come home to him, when we stay home with him, you know, we don't actually ever leave him, right? So we're, we, it's a place we can just be a perpetual home, always be at home in his heart, right? The other thing I was praying this morning was that we would be, that this generation, and all generations living right now, we'll just put it that way, that we would have a heart that would follow hard after God. That's an old King James phrase, kind of, but that we would just pursue him. And so when we're looking at God being the, our home through all the generations, being you know, he never says, I'm going to stop being your refuge with this generation. This is it. I just can't handle anymore. <laughs> you guys are crazy. You know, right? He, he never quits just being that steady presence, that steady peace, that steady, faithful God in our lives. And so we can just be home with him we can be comfortable with him we can rest in his love as one scripture says we learn to rest in his love as a matter of fact one scripture says that he will he will quiet us with our love i believe that's zechariah let me look at that real quick maybe zephaniah i think it's zephaniah it's one of the z's um but it says he will he will 
quiet us with his love he will he will his love will help us come down to find that peace his love you know and when i think about his love like a father's love i just think man you know my daddy drove a truck a lot when uh we were kids but there was nothing like when daddy came home right when daddy came home home was home it didn't really change the it changed the dynamic some and so but we knew we were loved we knew that that we were safe we knew even when he wasn't there we knew those things because we knew that, that he was going to watch out for us that he was taking care of us and that's why he was even gone and i found the scripture and then i lost it let's see 317 um as a sing o daughter of zion shout aloud o israel be glad and rejoice with all of your heart with all of your rejoice with all of your heart for the lord will remove let's see 1417 i got to i got ahead of myself sorry okay here we go on that day the announcement to jerusalem will be cheer up zion new living translation don't be afraid for the lord your god has arrived to live among you listen to that he wants to be with us why <laughs> i don't know but isn't it amazing that this god that created everything could have chosen anywhere to live and of course we know he's everywhere but he chose us for his eternal habitation he chose to walk with us he chose to be with us the god had got the lord your god has arrived to live among you he is a mighty savior he will rejoice over you with gladness he rejoices over us when we are home in him is that not amazing then it says this zephaniah I mean, zephaniah 3 uh somewhere in 17 ish yeah verse 17 he, with his love he will calm all your fears do you have any fears sometimes we call it do we just call it stress we don't call it fear because fear is a bad word especially in the church you know you can't say fear because it's not faith and it's not but but at the same time you know so but do you have any stress do you have any fears it says with his love he will calm all your fears and now listen to this he will exult over you by singing a happy song he rejoices and that song that that word exult uh in the new king new 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 king james it says rejoice over you with gladness and that means to spin around wildly dancing in excitement that's how excited he is when we come to him he loves for us to come to him he loves for us to choose to abide with him see we can go about our day and ignore him or we can go about our day rejoicing quietly or loudly in his presence just the fact that he is with us and he gets so excited when we choose to be with him so i'll go back to our original scripture in all generations you have been our home is he your home is he your comfortable place is he your resting place is he your place you can be you can relax in him see god shouldn't make you nervous because he already knows everything anyway so even when you realize he knows everything that still shouldn't make you nervous because he already knew everything and he knew it was going to make you nervous that you know he knows everything <laughs> right we can rest in him we can we can he can be our comfortable place that place of peace that we just crawl up in his lap and just go i just need you to hold me today or i need you to play with me today or i need you to sing with me today it says he 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 encompasses about he surrounds us with songs of deliverance he sings over us he rejoices over us he loves to be with us are we home with him i want to be home with him so today my goal is to just rest in him and be home be comfortable be peaceful in him today god we just thank you today that you are our refuge we thank you that you're our hiding place we thank you that you want to be with us we thank you that you get excited when we want to be with you god i pray that you fill everybody watching this with peace that your presence just overtakes them and that they just can be home in you today i pray that you all are blessed with an abundance of peace abundance of joy today and and mercy and grace overtake you have a great day and i'll see you tomorrow